I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my choice of fire extinguisher for my van. Controversially, I've chosen a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. This fire extinguisher is a two kilo fire extinguisher. Two kilos, or as I like to think about, about it, two bottles of wine. Still, two kilos in terms of the van weight is quite a lot. And I've chosen carbon dioxide fire extinguisher, and I've done that for a very good reason. And I'd like to talk to you about that today. In the van, we've got a wide variety of combustible materials. We've got wood, obviously. We've got fabrics. We've got uh, card. We've got a variety of combustibles that well, you could use a water extinguisher for. However, we've also got both 240 volt and 12 volt electrics. And you can't use a water extinguisher on electrical fires. We've also got fuels, such as diesel and gas. You can't use water on those either. Most people choose powder fire extinguishers for their vans. I had a powder fire extinguisher in my old BMW. The BMW suffered a significant fire behind the dashboard in the electrics. A powder fire extinguisher was used to extinguish the fire and I later had to rebuild all of the electrics in the BMW. But the major problem with the powder fire extinguishers is that the powder gets everywhere. Not only does it get everywhere, but it is very, very difficult to clean up. It gets in all the nooks and crannies and it stays in the vehicle and unfortunately it's quite irritating for my chest. I chose a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. There are dangers with using a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher in an enclosed space. You let off a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher and the van would fill with carbon dioxide, you would suffocate and die. However, we've got five exits on this van and windows. If there is a fire, these of course can easily be opened. Providing you realise that if you discharge a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher you're going to have to ventilate the space extremely quickly then you can mitigate the danger of using a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. However, carbon dioxide fire extinguishers are extremely useful. They're useful for quickly extinguishing the majority of fires, both fuel and electrical. They can be discharged and then stopped, discharged again and then stopped, and as a result can be reused pretty much until it's empty. I decided that a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher was the best choice for me. You may want to choose a different type of extinguisher, a powder extinguisher for instance, but if you do, please be aware that once the fire is extinguished, that's not the end of your troubles. If you've got a particularly asthmatic chest or a problem with your respiratory system, then a, a powder fire extinguisher can cause real problems in the future. I wanted to be able to save my van very quickly. I wanted to be able to use this outside and inside should it be necessary. And I wanted it to be used on all types of fire. Providing I realize that I would have to ventilate very quickly then a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher is the best choice for me. This cost me £23 on Amazon. I'm going to have to secure the base of the fire extinguisher a little bit more securely down here, perhaps by putting it in a rubber cup and stopping it from vibrating. But apart from that, and apart from the fact it's a little bit heavier, it's the best choice for me. What would be the best choice for you? Please leave your comments below and I'll try and answer them 
the best I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.